fill in the blanks, but don't make it Mad Libs. Hey guys, it's Amy here, back again with another video. Today we are talking filler, the biggest mistake you could make in your writing and the thing that puts all your hard work to waste. My precious, I don't want to lose you. My blood, sweat and tears went into writing you. Have you ever watched a TV series and stumbled upon an episode where the narrative of that completely takes you away from the main plot? That is a filler episode and I hate them. In terms of your writing, this could be something that your readers will question. They think you're just trying to reach the word count with this filler scene. Your narrative needs to come first, and having a scene that does not contribute towards the narrative can really be a detriment to someone who just wants to get back to the juice of the main story. Lucky for you, I'm going to cover how to fix that mistake should you end up writing a filler scene. content does not contribute to the main plot in any form. It does not advance the narrative or develop the characters in any significant way. It is a very literal break in the story. This is most often found in TV shows or anime where said filler can often be dubbed as the shopping episode, the beach episode, or the cafe episode, in which a single episode depicts the characters able to do something domestic without having to worry about the main plot or the threats of the big bad evil guys. No responsibilities or consequences. This is most often deliberate filler, but that doesn't mean that you can't make a filler episode on accident, or that you're going to be able to frame it in a way where it seems progressive, but it is not. An example would be from Avatar The Last Air Bender, where in the very episode before the two hour finale, the characters literally go to a play that depicts everything that happened in their main plotline up until that point. My friend and my longtime fan of the show said that it wasn't filler, I like it, it shows how far that they come. But in no way did going to the play give any information that they didn't already know, have the characters come up with a revelation, or become one step closer to defeating the Fire Lord. It was literally the let's see how far we've come episode. This is going to be very polarizing. People like beach episode style filler because it ends up being a break in the weather and they're able to calm down and see their characters in a lot more of a wholesome light. But I hate it. Especially if you're writing a novel, I think this kind of stuff is very bad. Every chapter needs to have some purpose and be able to develop the plot in one way or another. Filler content literally goes against that. Because if your main plot is trying to kill a devil and you end up spending one chapter in a pizza joint called Hells, which is an actual thing in New Zealand, and not once during that meeting eating pizza do you discuss your plans then i really start to wonder what was the point point. and before you go on about seeing character and relationship interactions we do not need to see that with the female cast members in bikinis the male cast members topless with board shorts on swimming around in front of <sighs> See, I'm so disgusted I can't even speak. Swimming around and frolicking. As always, plot comes first. Even before the aesthetic of your characters having a good time. Authors are ruthless. You should not care about how your characters feel or whether or not they deserve a holiday. It is your job to make these characters want to kill you if by chance you happen to meet them in person. I'm sorry, I may be a little bit psychopathic. The biggest sign that you have a filler chapter is that it does not develop anything within the story. If you can take that scene completely out of your story and nothing changes, then you have yourself a filler section. But sometimes that can be harder to find. Another way that you can think about this is comparing the start of the scene to the end of the scene. If the characters are in the same spot or position at the start of the chapter as they are at the end of the chapter, 
then you done fucked up. If that does happen to regard a relationship, however, it needs to be a significant change. It can't be as simple as having a fallout over who gets the last slice of cheesecake. If it is a major fallout between characters that isn't plot relevant, it is borderline filler. But if you just want the short answer, if it doesn't develop your plot, then it is filler content. Now if you do happen to find one scene that is filler in your story, you don't have to go and rewrite the whole thing. I have some solutions for you instead. One way to do this is to reskin some of the outcomes of it to a plot relevant event. If in your original scene the characters fall out over something a bit more domestic and small, then it will end up having a much greater effect as being a fallout if it is something big related to the plot or with some very tight connections between characters. One way that a filler scene can easily be reskinned is that it could be a planning scene, where the characters are convening about what their plan should be, as long as that plan doesn't go out perfectly in the next chapter that follows. Another kind of scene that you can reskin your filler to is a reflective scene. A reflective scene is one where the characters take in what just occurred and start to get ideas for what they could do next. This is sort of like a self-evaluation process. Having this in a relaxing moment such as a beach or a campfire can make some very interesting things happen as the characters interact and maybe even throw out what was bad or what was good. It'll still have some more friendly moments in it while the overarching plot just looms over them like a shadow. Speaking of, you can turn a filler scene into a moment that showcases a character as stressed. Even though things might seem very normal and domestic, you'll be able to spot little hints that show that something isn't quite right about the way that a character is behaving. Include very subtle, slimy hints or some red herrings to dictate what might be happening. This will be a very small reminder that there is no time to properly relax. But really, the simplest solution to this all is just to remove that scene completely from your novel. It's tough, but so is life. Deal with it. It doesn't matter how much you are attached to the concept of this scene if it contributes anything to your plot. In fact, having a filler scene can often be more detrimental or stressful to write. At least that's what I found. However, that doesn't mean that you will just have to hit delete. One thing you can do with the scene is turn it into a short story or a flash fiction piece, and you can use it as some little side content that you can put on your website, in a blog post or a PDF document, as a little marketing tool and a reward to give to your readers. Free content for them to guzzle down and maybe even get an idea of how the characters act and behave before they go and read their entire novel. This will allow some potential readers to perhaps get a taste of what these characters might be interacting like and their dynamic before they end up taking on your entire novel. I think this is super beneficial because creating free content is huge in your author platforms. I have a video on that coming out in 2022, so stay tuned for that. And there we go, that is my take on filler content. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you are new around here, ring that bell so you can find out when I post more creative content, and when I'm going to give out my reward for 100 subscribers. My novel, Asher's Coder Exposure, is available for you now in the description. Follow Abby Tacker as she traverses over three worlds with an otherworldly family blood feud keeping her on her toes. How is she gonna deal with her family's arch nemesis? Check in the description for my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok, and my blog. Stay creative, everybody, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.